Okay, so this is what we're going to do today. So let's get started. Okay, then we're going to duplicate. So I'll click and drag. Then I'm going to Okay, then move the point. All right. Rotate. Okay, right, and then we're going to expand. Sure, this point. All right, and then we're gonna go right click, transform, reflect, copy. Alright, then we're gonna do the next part making a tower. Alright, so it's gonna be a square. Isometric top and increase extrude depth. Okay, then we're going to cut out that opening. Duplicate it. Move it to right. Then we're going to merge. Okay. Expand this part. Then go to Effect 3D Rotate. Isometric Left. Expand this part. Okay. Yeah. 
Pre flick. Right. Pre right here. Okay, then we're gonna cut it cut it out. Duplicate this part. And we're gonna cut it out like that. Alright, so I'm gonna copy this part, copy it forward, and then select the blue part and we're gonna cut out the metal part. So go to intersect. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to make the metal part. All right. So it's going to look like something like this. Square. Yeah, I think it looks something like that. And then we're gonna mark everything together. Okay. Go to Effect 3D, Extrude and Bevel, Isometry, Top, and increase the depth. To something like that. Let's see how it looks. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna cut out this part. You can just duplicate this part like that. All right. We can duplicate again. Look something like that. I right, just move these two points down like that. And we're gonna duplicate here, and we're gonna do. Let's see. Transform, reflect. Okay. And we're going to expand this part. Alright, ungroup it. And this part here, we're going to do, let's see, minus front. And we do the same thing here. So, and just duplicate this part like that. Move it back. Do the same thing and just duplicate. Ok, 
Okay, let's add the stairs. Let's make a square. something like this duplicate and do command D it's too many yeah probably about okay and then select everything Divide, direct selection to copy, delete, and paste it forward. Yeah. Okay, and then move this up a little bit. Then we can add another square. Yeah, something like that. And then we can group these together. Go to effect 3D. Symmetric left. Increase the depth a little bit. Okay. Let's go down a bit. Duplicate is hard. Okay, and then increase the depth a little bit. So go to appearance, FX, highlight it, and then use a up arrow key all right we can duplicate this part later okay and i guess let's cut out that opening part all right we can just duplicate this part like that Give it down. Let's give it down a little bit. Move this point down like that. And we can duplicate again and do reflect. Okay, and ungroup this part. Alright, and then we're gonna do minus front and do the same thing here. Minus front, like that. Alright, and then we have to cut out the bottom part too. Alright, so just use this part. We're gonna reflect. Yeah. Okay, and just move this point down like that. And we can just do the same thing, duplicate. And do something like that. And another one. Okay, we're going to expand this part and ungroup it. 
select this part and then we're gonna do divide. Right, let's select the part we want, copy it. You select, select everything, delete, and paste it to front. And we can just all right, let me grab everything again. And we're going to group it. I'm going to duplicate. And we can just reflect this part like that. Okay. something like that you know what we don't even need this part so we can just delete it okay and just and then we're gonna fix this part so we need to cut out this part. All right, I'm just going to duplicate this part. Okay. Delete. Yeah, it has to be something like this. And then I'm just going to grab this part and this part we're gonna do minus front okay and we can just delete this part Do the same thing, minus front, and then we can just get rid of this part. Okay, and we'll Then we can move it to back. Alright. So it looks something like that. Okay, so this is what we got so far. Alright, so the next part. Let's make this part. Alright. So it's going to be like a square. Strong bevel. Symmetry. Yeah. Something like that. And click OK. Alright, so the next part we're gonna make that like kind of like the bridge. Okay. We can probably do something like this. And go to appearance, get rid of the effect. Alright, and then we're gonna add make it longer, something like that. Then I'm gonna go to effect 3D, rotate. Rotate top, okay. 
Yeah, so it doesn't look like that. So we make it look something like that. Okay. And move this to front like that. And just connect two together. Like that. Alright, then we make it here and there. So just copy it. This longer so I use direct selection too and just move this thing up like that to increase the length. Okay, should be enough. We can make it smaller like that. Okay. And then we can edit so decrease the depth. Something like that. We're going to expand this one so we can flip it over. Okay. Yep. Do something like that. Needs to be smaller. Okay, so the next part we can add that waterfall. Okay, so we can just like copy this part, copy it forward, scale it, and move it down like that. Okay, so that's the waterfall. this a bit and then we should add like that hi we can just let's see copy this duplicate this part so it has to be So something like that. Then we can duplicate this part again. Let's make it look something like that. Have to fix this part a little bit. Use the direct selection too. And then we're going to add those details. So I'm going to add those lines. So we can do something like this. It's just Make like a straight line like that. Okay, and then we can duplicate it. And 
then do command D yeah and we're gonna grab everything group it 3d and rotate isometric top okay make it look something like that we can scale it down And then we can edit, go to appearance, okay. Okay, so now let's add some color. So just to give you an idea, like anything that face toward the left is going to be one color. And like the one that face toward the right, that way, it's going to be another color. And again, anything that face toward the top is going to be a different color so it's actually quite easy so we only need like three color for everything really so i'm going to expand Alright, so I'm gonna like expand everything first. Okay, so I'm gonna use the the rack selection tool to grab everything that face toward the left. Okay, so something like that. Alright, and then just give it this color and then you direct selection to again grab any everything that face toward the right something like that okay and then I'm gonna give it a darker color so it's a shadow Okay, alright, now everything that face up give it a lighter color something like that this one, this color and give this one a darker color Release the clipping mass. This part keep blue, something like that. Oh, get this from it.
Okay. This part and this part can be something like this. Okay, so I guess now we can add those shadow. Keep this part like a transparency. Yeah, so more like that. Copy this part, copy it forward, give it this color, and change the opacity 70, like that. Then we're going to copy this part, copy it forward again, but change is to gradient. Go to gradient panel. We're going to change the angle to 120. Okay. All right, and transparency type to multiply. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing here. So copy it, copy it forward, give a gradient, and we need to change the gradient angle. So I guess change the gradient to negative 60 so it line up with the isometric so we can make it like tilt it like that that way toward that way. Multiply, give it like 70 80%. Okay, so it looks it's much better. So I guess we can make it like give it like a green tint. Okay, something like that. All right, we're gonna do the same thing for this part. So I'm gonna copy, copy it forward. We can do the sample this color. of the light. Give it like 60 degree. We do the same thing here. So copy, copy forward, give it this color. Has to be chain opacity. Make it transparent, and then we're gonna copy it again, copy it forward, and we're gonna sample this color. Yeah, and do the same setting. So like 120, and then opacity, opacity multiply, 
80. Nope, 70. Give it like 70. Okay. And do the same thing here. So copy, copy forward. Sample. Negative 60. Change it to negative 60. Okay. We're going to add one more down here. Do something like that. And we're going to cut out this shape. So, you should group this one. Copy it, copy it forward, and cut out that shape. Move it to back and then just sample its color. Change the angle. So like I'm trying to make it like till like that way. So you just have to find the right angle, 120. Okay, something like that. Okay, we're gonna have to do the same as it's a copy. One more. Whoop. Copy it.
one more. Just copy. Move it to front. And I guess we can add like that like foggy effect if you want to. Alright, just let me show ya. We can do something like this. So you have to ungroup this part first. Okay, so copy this part, copy it forward, and keep like a gradient and I and then change the angle again so we want like yeah so you want it to line up like that so okay so then we can do something like this Is around and then has to be this color. Yeah, you can make it look something like that. You can do the same thing as a copy, copy it forward, and just sample and change the angle it has to be a different color yep. one twenty and just move this around Okay, so it looks kind of like foggy like that. Just have to play around with this thing. Change opacity. Something like that. 